is up my friends welcome back for some more star wars galaxy of heroes news uh today cg did drop the kit reveals for grief karga and kira dune so we're gonna hop in uh to look at those and get some first reactions on those uh but first if this is your first time here uh please consider subscribing to the channel i cover all types of star wars galaxy of heroes content and news all right let's hop over and take a look at the article that got released today uh so grief karga we'll look at him first um, they did give a full breakdown of his kit. So as we covered in previous videos, he is lot side support leader, bounty hunter, and scoundrel. So we did not know before, was just kind of, um, you know, thinking that he was going to be a leader. But, uh, you know, now we do have the confirmation that he is going to be a leader for the bounty hunters. And then, of course, he is the first lot side bounty hunter which is really cool to have that added into the game so uh, his basic ability is going to be deal physical damage to the target enemy twice inflict days for two turns all allies with payouts active to recover five percent health and protection so that's a pretty solid 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 basic ability so you're looking at adding dazes uh, which is a really good thing to have on the field and then also recovering health and protection to your team uh, that's going to be some really good support, and then uh, it hits twice, so I'm expecting this not to do, you know, killer, killer damage, but when you're adding a daze and giving health protection back to your team, that's pretty solid. So, first special, uh, bring in the cold, uh, dispel all debuffs on the target enemy, which can't be evaded, that's pretty cool. Uh, then call all bounty hunters to uh, assist, so you're going to have a mass assist going out. Um, payouts, uh, or bounty hunters that have payouts, active deal 30 percent more damage so it's going to be a big big hit and then if the enemy is defeated by this ability bounty hunters gain offense up defense up penetration up critical chance up critical damage up health still up for three turns wow that's a solid solid ability you think of the damage that a good bounty hunter team that can put out uh you're calling mass assist if they've got their payouts active, they're doing 30% more damage. And then when they inevitably probably take somebody out with this, then they get an insane amount of buffs for three turns. That's really, really, really solid. So I'm wanting this character pretty bad already. <laughs> All right, special number two, sweeten the deal. And sweeten the deal has this character been so far. A dispel all debuffs on bounty hunter allies. All bounty hunter allies gain retribution for two turns. Recover 25% health and protection. Doubled if they have their payout active. Allies without payouts active. Gain tenacity up for two turns and 50% turn meter. <laughs> this character is turning out to be awesome so far. What a good kit. So you're looking at a mass dispel and then adding retribution to the field. That's a super, super solid character and you're talking about retribution for two turns and then giving health and protection recovery like this is better than what kenobi does with his retribution like this is super super solid all right his leader ability loyalty pays um allied, allied bounty hunters gain 30 percent max protection whenever an allied bounty hunter gains a buff they recover five percent protection when grief cargo is in the leader slot not in the ally slot the falling contract is active so the contract is attack out of turn 20 times uh the reward is all bounty hunters uh, have their payouts active and gain 20 percent critical chance and offense so pretty solid leader ability as well uh you know the max protection if you have your uh, bounty hunters modded for this then you're talking about like if you throw protection on all your bounty hunters and you generally go underneath this leadership it seems like you can really really pump out that protection going forward so you're not even getting your base health hit that often with this team so um pretty good payout and then uh it's got a, another unique as well boss of the guild so uh, at the start of the encounter uh, grief gains stealth for two turns each time a bounty hunter earns their payout Allied bounty hunters uh, cooldowns are reduced by one, and grief also gains the following bonuses: 10% counter chance, critical avoidance, and max health stacking. Holy cow! This guy's kit is amazing. So he comes in stealth, and then every time a bounty hunter gets their payouts, it's reducing their cooldowns by one. That's super solid. And then he has a stacking bonuses that keep on going up with max health uh counter chance and critical avoidance like what a good character and then his payout is going to be 
Uh, Grief dispels all debuffs on Bounty Hunter allies, and he recovers 100% health and protection. Grief gains stealth for one turn at the end of each of his turns. Whenever Grief becomes inflicted by a debuff, his cooldowns are reduced by one. Like, this is a super solid character. I hope Cara Dune is this good as well, because this guy seems like he's going to be where it's at when it comes to, the, to uh, you know, bounty hunters going forward. Like, it's going to be interesting to see how the Mandalorian's leadership works out, but it seems like he's going to have a solid, solid leader here um, if you mod the team correctly with a bunch of protection. And then, like, just the, the specials and stuff that he does as well, like the support that he adds to the team, even if he's not the leader, that seems super, super solid. So, like, big two thumbs way, way up for Grief Karga. Like, my gosh, this character is going to be fun to play. Like, I really hope that they make him easier to get. Like, I have a feeling he's going to be a hard node farm. Like, most of these, uh, you know, characters they've been adding in here lately after the marquee events are. So, let's hope he's a little easier to get. All right. So, next one we have Cara Dune. This is another one that I've been looking for. So, I wanted to see her kit because I've been really interested in how they're going to play off of this uh, tank and then damage dealer based on what the leader is. So, Let's hop in, look and see. So it says a scoundrel rebel tank who gains benefits when uh, being led by either. All right, so we'll see what that kind of plays out. All right, so uh, basic is barroom brawler. If you notice, hers is quite a bit less information than uh, what Grief Cargo's was, unfortunately, but I think that she probably will be pretty good too. So deal physical damage to target enemy if there's a scoundrel. Ally in the leader slot, Cara Dune gains stealth until the end of the next turn. If there's a rebel ally in the leader slot, Cara Dune loses stealth and gains taunt for two turns. So this is where the leader and the team comes in, where she's either, I'm assuming if she's got stealth, then there's going to be some more damage going out. And then if she doesn't have stealth and she's got taunt, then there's going to be maybe some more you know, protection for her, you know, as far as taking damage wise is concerned. So, all right, so that's her basic and it has a lot of synergy to do with whatever the leader is. Um, special number one, improvised strategy. Uh, Karatoon gains potency up for one turn, then deals physical damage to all enemies and removes 50% of their turn meter. Empire ally enemies are stunned for one turn. So they weren't lying when they said that she's gonna be a, an empire killer, <laughs> like a mass stun on empires and then taking down 50% turn meter. That's a really, really strong. And then it gives her that potency up as well. And if you guys remember from, you know, the previous information out there, if she's got potency up and she dies, then she revives. So um, I think, let's see, yeah, 50% of her max health uh, she gets if she revives when she's got potency up. So um, that's built into her kit. And then I'm not sure if there's other rebels out there that have that uh, potency up that's added as well, but that might be another thing to just kind of continually have that available for her to help with revives. All right, unique number one, Infiltrator. While Stealth Cara Dune has 100% critical chance and critical damage, so there's your extra damage bonus in if you're running underneath a Scoundrel. Um, when Cara Dune loses Taunt, she gains Stealth for one turn at the start of the next turn. So um, it seems like there's going to be a lot of play with uh, the Taunting and the Stealth maybe within the Rebels teams, and then a lot of Stealth going on in the, um, in the um, Scoundrel squads. All right, and then unit number two, X Rebel Shock Trooper. Uh, Cara Dune gains critical hit immunity for two turns and 100% turn meter whenever an Empire enemy is defeated and half that amount when non-Empire enemies are defeated. If Cara Dune has potency up when she is defeated, then she is revived at 50% and gains potency up for one turn. So very, very strong after Empire here. Uh, you have the bonuses when uh, you're not going against Empire, but... I think this will be a fun character to have. I'm not as excited after seeing this kit as I am with Grief Karga. Grief Karga seems like an amazing, amazing character uh, to add into the game. Now, not that Cara Dune's bad. I really think that she can bring some life into um, you know some Rebels and then Scoundrels. I'm pretty excited because I just unlocked a CLS, and maybe this is somebody that I can farm to put in that CL CLS team to work well. Um, and then, obviously, having that Scoundrel tag is helpful especially for new players to have good scoundrels for some of the events going on in the game so uh you know definitely am excited about this one but this guy right here is where it's at right now i am really excited to see some gameplay uh with him i will be uh doing 
some videos tomorrow uh, going through the events and playing them and just giving some thoughts on there. I'm sure they're probably going to be marquee events. So hopefully they have those set up where we get to use those in certain teams and kind of play around with them the way that they're intended to play with. Uh, so we'll definitely do that tomorrow. But, you know, let me know what you guys think. I am super excited about Reef Karka. I think that this guy's going to be amazing. Can't wait to see the Mandalorian added in as well because if Grief Karga is this good, I'm I got big big high hopes for the Mandalorian coming in. Uh, so, but let me know what you guys think. Are you excited? Are you ready to play this stuff tomorrow? And I will see you guys in the next video.